Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and Adams, ladies and the other gender. I'm not beefing anybody, I'm just <laughs> I'm just greeting in my normal way. Good evening, people. Um, okay, so we are gonna be entering and diving and going into um this amazing topic called research and ideation process. All right. Once again, quick check. Can you see my screen? I'm an able girl, so R becomes L in my mouth, and I'm proud of it. Don't mind me. Can you see my screen? Okay, awesome. Thank you, Manuel. All right, so let's go there. Um. The 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 um this this topic eh. I've already said it that anytime any of my students come to me and they say i did xyz xyz thing and i ask them because how are you gonna say you do research is if i ask you for mood board and you're able to supply it so if i ask for creative direction or mood board and you're able to supply it i know that okay you 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 carry your mind enter church and you did this thing very well but if you're not able to supply it i already said that me you know you know you know gidigbo that's what i'll start doing for some people so if i ask you and you're not able to provi provide it just send me your address let's go Shake you get so um i feel like it's a very important topic so who is this fine girl uh you already know my name now for, but those people that don't know me maybe you just stumbled on me on um, that post on uh on twitter or instagram or any other social media uh space and you're like ah, uh -uh this thing goes sweet make i just join but i don't know who she is my name is Chuka Deze Victoria. Mm? I'm a designer, I'm a creative strategist, and I am a teacher. I say I'm coming to teach you this night. Alright, so let's not spend too much time on facility. Let's talk about the research phase. Um before you do where where let me okay, let me start by um like introducing a sort of timeline, right? So for instance, where does research fall in the timeline? So let's say for instance now. Uh, yeah, I like Yajami, I don't know why. But Yajami, right? So let's say this is her. Yajami came to meet you, right? Yajami is selling skincare uh, products, right? And she wants you to create a flyer for her, for instance. Um, and then she comes to meet you. This is the stage that she comes to meet you, right? Where, let's say between this stage and where you, you say this uh, project is done, where does research fall inside any of this uh, from from the beginning from um, this stage to this stage right mm -hmm. after Yajami has come to meet you and she has said I want you to design flyer for me my my job is not to teach you design process right it's research and ideation but where does research come she has met you she has told you oh she wants to design flyer you guys will now set up a meeting right it is in that meeting that she will not tell you, oh, uh, this is the idea, this is what I want to do, da 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 da, and all these things is called, waiting, is it a So, Iajami can decide to send you a brief either through a document, like let's say she sends you a Word document or a Google uh, Doc file that has a breakdown of what and what yeah brief a design brief you know yeah me yeah a design brief so she can decide she can decide if she's tech savvy she can decide to send um a design brief to you through a google uh um, document right or she can decide to answer your questionnaire if you have a questionnaire or she can decide to um you, you and her can decide to make it a meeting instead where you are going to collect the brief so different solutions for different clients according to how tech savvy or willing they are to do some certain things all right so it's after you have collected this brief right that is where your research starts all right so your research it starts right here on the timeline immediately after that that um, um collecting the collecting the brief because the next thing on my page is researching the clients all right who are who are they 
right? Who are the, who are these people that has come to um that have come to brief you on something that they want to do or that you they want you to do, right? So number one, yeah, yeah, Jamie have told you that she wants to uh do a skincare product, she wants to shake in it, she wants to shake back, she wants to shower. Let's say she has like a Independence Day uh pro- promo that she wants to do, right? So she has given you the breakdown. Oh, they, they, pro- they want to uh, 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 put this flyer on social media. I will want to use it and do Google ad. I will want to do an email campaign. I will want to da 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 and all those many many English, right? Oh, our target audience, yeah 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 yeah, right? So you first of all need to fara bale. Calm down. Fara bale means put your body on the floor. Uh, no, not like on. Okay, you know what? <laughs> You need to calm down and first of all understand what the client wants. Let's start from there first, right? So that means you're listening. Well, not just listening, but active listening. Actively, I don't, I'm not going to explain what active listening is. You can Google it, right? But listening to what she wants, right? What exactly is she trying to achieve? That's the objective. Oh, she wants to sell markets. Oh, she wants to uh, uh, promote the brand. Oh, she wants to uh um uh, uh what do they call them uh invite more investors oh she wants to attract uh, in, attract not invite attract more investors you know and um, blah 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 she gets you understand that part what message does she want to pass across right this message is going to be tied to the objective then what are the desi- um, desired outcome or what they call kpi what are the key Perfor- uh, uh, the performance indicators meaning that when this thing starts to do well how do you know how do you measure success that's what performance indicators do how do you measure success in this thing so what 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 how why this is important for you as a designer this kpi thing is because if the um if the uh, let's say she has a an app for instance she's selling her stuff on an app She's not selling her stuff. She's selling her, her market good on an app, right? She's selling it on an app. And um the the goal, let's say the objective is that she wants to sell um two thousand uh, uh cream by the end of by the end of business uh on the fifteenth of October. Right? Let's say that's the objective. She wants to sell two thousand bottles of cream on that day, right? Um, that's goal number one, right? And then you know she wants app downloads number two. Uh, she wants brand awareness number three. Uh, she wants brand mentions number four. She wants to have uh, uh, satisfied customers so that she can get uh, testimonials and use it as social proof. Now, if she gets that a list of things that she wants out of it, then um, the KPIs could be uh, let's say five thousand or let's say five hundred. Let's not go too far. Let's say 500 app downloads, right? Is the is the KPI, is the performance indicator. So basically, this is how if you have 500 downloads, this is how you know that you have succeeded in achieving this goal of app downloads. That's how you know, right? So this are your, this is your success metric. So um, if this is your success uh, success metric, which can concern you as designer, what's your business? with whether she want to uh can you, how how does this affect your design it means that your cta button download this app cta button needs to be very visible it means that your um um sit uh, your text which is download this kini con kini con to get kini con kini con needs to be very legible <clears throat> meaning that you 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 probably will not do in a in a no, on a normal day you probably will have uh the uh, image of a fine girl right let me put earring for her so you have the image of a fine girl um on on the uh kini, you know showing her beautiful skin and saying yajamu natural cream is the bestest of the bestest and let's say you have your logo here and all of that so this means that apart from your headline in terms of hierarchy your uh download this app will also be very very prominent it means that you probably put let's say a a banner here that has the uh, download button very big and then you have like the cta the words themselves over here so the goal of what or the objective of what you know 
the the entire campaign or design or flyer or logo or branding you know affects the things that the actual elements that you put on the page you know see it, 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 are you are you speaking what i'm dropping is the something digesting your stomach or is it turning your stomach talk to me ah well i'm not living here until somebody say something we're gonna sleep here today we're gonna sleep here today is it digesting or is it turning your stomach Stomach is digesting it. Nice one, nice one. Only a man that is inside this place, Abi. A car we are like 24 years and nobody saying anything. So it's an interactive something. So everybody must talk. Oh. Uh -huh. Nice one, nice one. Nice one, nice one, nice one. He said I should come again. You didn't hear me. I said everything I've said so far, is it digesting or is it turning your stomach? Okay, awesome. My fellows, I hope you're hearing me, Sha. Okay, awesome. All right, so that's how that's the that's the intersection or the connection between knowing what the objective is or what the goal of the business or the goal of that flyer or the goal of the campaign or the goal of the branding or the goal of the rebranding. Sure, you get that's the goal. That's that's the intersection between uh, knowing what the goal is and what you design, right? So it shows you what is important, what is vital what information the flyer needs to carry how it needs to carry it which one you are going to buttress using color or a uh, scale right so scale meaning that the size how big or how small something is sure you get in uh here -huh. so that's that on that let's not waste too much time so let's now go after you understand the brand i mean the brief itself what, what's the next thing the next thing for you to do is brand research right so now that you understand what the client wants about that let me even draw the cream and keep down about these fine products right this is the ajamu cream so now that you understand what the client wants for this product right what about the intersection between brand identity eh, and the products that they want to sell for this promo it is the intersection between brand identity the product that they want to sell and this promo here you get so this is where you now begin to understand what the mission of the brand is it's not compulsory to me me oh for me oh because there are some people that you ask uh um there's some uh, clients that you ask that what's the mission of the kidney they'll be looking at you like what is not talking about i beg like, design flyer be actually you go design flyer be no go design make i know here you get so um i think from the brief you can just ask simple questions that leads you to the answer that you're looking for sure you get so some from some people they have like their brand strategy where they have their core values mission vision kinikon uh, identity and all of that so if you can at least get the brand identity part sorry the visual identity part that would be very very useful so that you know that okay oh, is this color code of green that they are using is this uh, uh element or uh, let's say is an illustration of a woman that they usually use with red scarf and pink gown okay is this type uh, typography that they use it is this uh round circle that they use as the background and it is this uh let's say uh style of a uh, button that they use she gets so for cause for some people they will use outline for their button why some people i prefer outline to be honest but why some people they use feel they use solid color uh, uh buttons so that you can maintain a form of uni uh, a, a uniformity and consistency across board with their uh, brand elements okay then lastly we do your target audience research who is she reaching out to oh uh, women uh, women between the ages of uh, 20 I don't know 24 to 40 uh, and men between the ages of uh, 30 uh, to uh, 45 I don't know whatever right so you are going to assume that these ones are going to give their girlfriends she gets and then we are going to assume that these ones are looking for youth 
and they will buy it for themselves she get so that you know what kind of audience segment you are creating messaging for so you you can say this one can have a uh, gift your uh, loved ones this independence day and this one can now be uh, look younger than nigeria ah i like that copy oh it's look younger than nigeria you know this independence day let's say that's the kind of copy so you have um, um two audience audience segments and then because you understand what your uh, who your audience are you know what kind of elements of design will appeal to them right you know what kind of let's say uh, for this one now you want to use like a woman that is like smiling you know excited collecting the gifts from somebody or for this one you want to use uh, someone who is looking really young and all of that or and then maybe the copy can say uh, can you believe us how, how old is nigeria to deserve they are independent a bit long way how old are they 74 is it 70 64 uh-huh. so um um you can say um can you uh, put like a picture of a very young girl that looks almost 20 years old right and you say uh, can you believe i am 64 years old that kind of thing just something that incites that oh wow you look so young type thing you know and then they cannot associate that youth with the product so i hope that makes sense uh let's talk about identifying the problem so now that you've understood what the uh, uh, the client wants and you've understood um what the the brand identity or visual identity is and you have digested who the target audience are the next thing i think that you need to look out for is what like like uh, like encapsulate everything that you have done uh, encapsulate what the problem is into one sentence or one word she get so if she is coming to do uh, this skincare promo what problem in her business is she trying to solve she doesn't use to you need to use her mouth and tell you right what what problem in her business is she trying to solve oh she wants to attract we have already mentioned this before objective uh, is different from um problem right oh uh, low low revenue um 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 low or average top of mind awareness you know just uh, uh let's say she wants to launch launching a new product and i've already kind of i kind of wrote it here launching a product can be like a new thing that she wants to do and she needs eyes awareness brand awareness you know on that product or on that service or whatever it is that she's selling here you get so defining your problem will help you shape the design solution that you are trying to um sell what happened to my okay so next thing on that research is researching the market this is the one i know that we do not do i i mean i can i can give you example of people that don't do it but anyway let me mind my business so let us start with industry trends what did they stop for outside right so the trend within the skincare industry using this example of uh yajamu now right this trend within this industry is what exactly what do they usually use how do they place their imagery what kind of co uh, uh, color do they use because even if yajam is using color green right there are many shades and tints under this green that you can use if she's using color pink her color palette will definitely come with shades and tints of that pink that you can use so in the skincare market do they use soft colors do they use sharp colors how do they place them is it more of soft colors at the background coming out into hard colors or is it hard colors at the background coming into soft colors what's the what's the regular um style that they go for what kind of design style do they use there are different types of um, design style there are, there's minimalist there's feminine there's uh, uh, masculine there's um uh, maximalism there is neo brutalism that you people know of right there is brutalism right there is uh, uh illustrated there is uh, uh they call it playful there's playful design style there is um utilitarian uh there is uh ah, what's the name of this one again pixel pixel um, um the, uh, uh, undiscovered i mean i discovered you shall plenty she gets there are many of them there's new york there is victorian there is there are many sha. so which design style do they typically use 
in the skincare industry that yeah you can use for your jamio right what kind of color scheme do they use is it soft is it hard you can just use a color palette and look for the shade you know within the uh, tint to the uh, lightest to the darkest that you can explore and then typography she gets you can also recommend let's say what she's using is something that is meant for oil and gas you can recommend pay excuse me what i pay this your typography is not typing oh let's look for an alternative for you this one does not work maybe this is part of the problem in your in your this is this is the problem that your village people invented for you so um it helps you to make sure that your designs remain relevant and modern and nice competitor analysis who are other people that are doing this thing in the yajamu market ah yeah yeah one day is selling uh skincare too eh how is she selling it is she making gain ah yes okay how is she doing it right what kind of designs is she using how is she um and these are all part of the uh, strategies now okay how is she wording her copies right what is her process because one thing i know for us as designers beyond being just designers we are solution providers Wallahi, who is who is playing drum in that place hey stop it sorry oh so um what was i saying god um strategies yeah so ha, okay i was saying that beyond us being designers we are also solution providers right so one thing that I, I i feel like my clients appreciate about me is the fact that i'm able to spot errors and call 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 it its name that hey this thing is wrong can we try da, 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 da. if you're not going to hear my own that one that one is a different case so ah i will not i don't I'm, I'm not a big fan of arguing too much i can show you statistics show you everything but if a client truly believes that what they are doing is the right thing to do then you just have to accept it okay so computer analysis to check what they are doing what they are not what they are not doing or what they are doing that they are not doing well that you two can can kind of uh, 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 uh take that strategy refine it and you and say it in your own voice so you get so the the whole essence of it is for you to be able to design something that looks like it belongs in that industry but also stands out of that industry right i i think i did something like that for a client recently i always use them as my case study um they they are, they are a normal fintech app like that but um the kind of design style that i went for is new brutalism not the co not the complex one i'm doing for musha too like there's a simpler version of it that i was doing for them and it really really helped them to stand out until i can't come out they can't change everything anyway i'm not angry i'm not angry at all <laughs> so the next thing is to research the culture this might look strange right but it is necessary in some cases and i'll give you examples the history and inspiration behind something is very very important right so imagine that i'm a museum and i say come and design something about the bini bronze are you just going to enter into photoshop and start designing or you just look at hey what are the other designs in the industry and start designing right you need to understand the cultural implication behind that particular uh, thing i'm asking you to design before you are able to design it another example i can give to you is uh, religion or uh, notable dates like international women's day uh, uh day of the girl child world toilet day world mosquito day world kinikon she gets so before you now jump and start designing you need to you need to know that you, sh you should go and open a uh, 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 history book of five thousand years ago and remove the dust and start trying to read the origin of malaria she gets it's just for you to understand the context behind something right uh if you notice when they are doing any uh, notable dates from the like un dates right they usually have a theme like let's say customer service week usually has a theme and beyond just the theme there is a reason behind why they have chosen that theme so before you just jump and start designing try and understand first right i'm just ah i wanted to say for for buruku ballet i'm sorry that was not meant for you guys i just said it to my mind no vex yeah so i uh, uh first of all understand like the cultural whatever whatever you know behind it uh, I, the same thing if you are designing for like for something like International Women's Day. Why are we celebrating women in the first place? Sure, you get. I, I I see a lot of brands miss it because they try to design from a a strictly modern perspective without understanding historical implications behind something or historical context behind something. So why are we celebrating women? 
oh we are celebrating women because uh uh can da 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 many many reasons so now you ha- you have context as to what you know attached to what you're designing so you get the same thing for religious holidays the other day they said they're celebrating the birthday of uh, of um of the prophets on my heart gonna ask questions what who are we celebrating why are we celebrating this time all those many many these things then right would they typically use the image of the prophet himself or would they craft an image would they use the would they illustrate him she gets is it disrespectful to them she gets and uh-huh. then lastly want um, to do trend research so this basically is you combining the modern with the historic so you look at the history and you look at the modern and then you attach them together do you have any questions for me regarding the research phase ladies and men to gen abi i'm not in the something again are we here knock knock okay 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 all right any questions regarding the uh, research um kini i've been on it you already understand it to the spiritual level any question the reason why i'm asking is so that if we get to the end the questions will not be as much if any self okay should i assume that okay uh does the okay it's on my phone but not here yet um this this part has not okay it says do you have a questionnaire that you work with when finding out details me personally apart from um apart from what your client prefers you need to also find a middle ground between what you prefer and what they prefer she feel me so me i prefer to talk to you i was on a cl- i was on a um, discovery call with a client recently while i spent three hours we're just gisting and the gist that we're gisting was already fueling what i was thinking i was in fact i was writing full text book because we we're just gisting she gets all those gisting uh, type thing will not be if you ask them to feel like a, a form or something there are some there, i me to, uh, I, from my perspective oh, there are some things that might fall through the cracks or that might not appear or they might not be, uh, be able to articulate correctly in that form she gets that's why me i prefer to set up a meeting with them number one i wanted to see my face because i feel like seeing my face kind of helps you to build trust especially when it is via referral or maybe you find me found me online it helps you to, it helps to build trust sure you get so you meet me uh, uh you see my face and you're like uh-uh no well, this guy is fine no that means she no book <laughs> so um yeah so i don't i don't i don't have i have questionnaire if you want to i can give you a questionnaire i think i have it somewhere in my google drive I can give you questionnaire if you want but me personally i don't work with it so i will give you something i know they use i know they use do anything um in, so yeah i hope that answers your question dozier imana says the neobitalism style you do for moonshot what is the idea behind it man why don't you use the normal flyer design style see you see this word right here i don't like them this thing Twe. i don't like them Twe, twe, twe. abomination so <laughs> so <laughs> um so new brutalism style i should explain the reason why for moonshot hey god okay so the new brutalism style um is usually used for tech brands that want to seem friendly that's that's the and i'm not when i say new brutalism I'm, I'm, i mean like the basic version of it not this where a behavior that i'm displaying you no know, not this complex one i'm creating but like a simpler version of it is usually that i've seen usually used by tech brands let's say they want to build an app they want to uh, design a website that type of thing is there everybody that can't hear me please confirm oh 
so that's that's what i know that tech brands usually use for um for for their website or their app you know tech brands that want to look friendly or feel friendly so you get that what i've seen so over time now it has now become a thing that if people want to design for an event let's say a a design conference a tech conference ui ux hackathon all those type of things they will use this type of flyer so it has become like an industry standard sometimes that when you um, want to design for a tech conference or an event that is tech related right like coding or anything like that you will most likely use um neurobotalism as the design style so me and i took that one and i added weed to it and i became the designs that moonshot currently has she feel me but another thing that i've also noticed that sometimes eh, except if you have a community behind your brand right like she called africa has a beyond just um the event itself they have a, they have a, like an actual community just like we are here in tab design hub now they have their own actual community she get so when if they design anyhow banner you know it goes still sell because they have a community of people that they are talking to but moonshot doesn't have a community behind it moonshot probably it has a borrowed community from tech all right so we cannot just only rely on tech about community to make it work we need to create a design that gets people talking especially within the field that we are operating in so and i know that a, a couple of people have have mentioned it even in spaces that they don't know that i'm the one that designed it they just mention it in spaces that i am that uh, uh, who they design this thing I, I i see it everywhere and anyone i see i used to screenshot and save hey see me finding myself in my room <laughs> see me finding myself and i'm like eh, hey, talk it go on that's the idea she gets so i hope that answers your question princess say you never reach spiritual levels please run the slides by us again so that we can take screenshots you will get the slides now, auntie. You know who we are talking to? Ha. Huh. My name is Chukwa. There's a one of any good state. Don't play with me. <laughs> so, yeah, you get the slides. Um, can't hear you. I can hear you. Oppo. Uh, question one B. Do you usually have a script to follow when you're on a call with a client or you go with the flow? I usually have, I don't have a script. I have um, uh, meeting objectives. Like what are we trying to, what are we trying to achieve with this meeting? In the film, so you remember that it, when the client comes to you, they've already had like a preliminary conversation with you, and say, oh, I need you to design flyer for me, I need you to do this and that, 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 that for me. So you get, so you already have an idea, a basic idea of what they want from you. That meeting is for you to dive dive deeper. And collect all the information you need to make it not just a successful design but a successful campaign and a successful client relationship am I speaking German or Chinese which one do you understand right so I, I have like meeting objectives so I, I've always uh, let's say somebody wants to design something that is cultural let's say they want to design something for a museum right I've already outlined that okay number one no I'm going to uh, ask them how they are. Uh, hey, we are going to do like that first one. Oh, how are you doing? Oh, I like your hair. I like your eyes. I like your uh, nose. Ah, it's very big. Uh, uh wow. They can land jet on it. That type of thing. So after telling them that they can, they can land jet on their nose, you will now move to the next item on the list, which is uh, just talk to me about the project. Let me understand what exactly you want. Oh, we want this, 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 this. That's when you probably even begin to discover that they actually need more than they have asked you for. So if, imagine a client says, oh, they want you to design a logo. Or let's say they want you to design a business. Uh -huh. I had one recently. They said they want to design a business card. I'm like, oh, fantastic. Talk to me about it. Oh, this is the company. The company does this, 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 this. Oh, interesting. All right. Do you have the logo and the, the color palette and typography that you use? Oh, they don't get anything, no. It's my mind. I can't be. I, I, I was not asking, pay. What what do you want me to design with if you don't have any of these things? You don't have any brand elements. So that's when you now begin to dis um, understand that beyond what they have asked you for, they need more than that. <laughs> and that's extra money in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> so
so but yeah that's the basic idea uh so um what 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 you would have to based on the, the preliminary conversation you would have to determine what the goal of the of the meeting is going to be and how you want to structure that conversation from beginning to the end she feel me then uh, uh maybe even during the meeting as the person keeps talking as the client keeps relating with you you probably find some more questions that come up that's why you need your pen and your paper or your uh, note app or something so they can quickly jot down those questions and ask them right there uh -huh. and then that's where you can also tell them your terms and conditions are they collect up front though yeah jamie i know to say hear me well hello can you hear me can you see my mouth are they collect up front ma Ah no, I no get oh Odabo. Oh, oh no problem now it's not the problem. How many of how many percent? Oh, hundred percent, two hundred percent, five hundred percent, your kidney, your second child. Give me everything. Sure you get. Mm -hmm. So yeah. If every lecturer is like this, everybody be so intelligent. <laughs> so I used to tell people that if I teach you and you don't get them, it has to be a spiritual problem. I promise you. If I teach you and you know get them it's a spiritual problem because i will sketch i will draw i will give you resources i will give you everything and you know still no am yo straight to the river to wash your head straight to the river to wash your head so um okay let's move on to the next phase which is ideation <laughs> now yeah go sweet are you ready do press up do press up where they do 10 let's do the icebreaker oh yeah do 10 press up where you day Get ready, get ready, get ready. Do ten press up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two. <laughs> That's me just making just of myself to to be honest. Okay, let's get into it. Ideation process. What uh, ideation phase? I mean, so now that you have done research, you've gathered all these ideas. You have got uh, sorry, you have gathered all the information that you need. Not necessarily the ideas. You've gathered the information that you need. <clears throat> You know that you need to design logo, a uh, flyer, a uh, business card, a uh, clinic on your shirt, and all of that. Uh, you want to do signage, you want to do uh, app, you want to do website, you want to do. Uh, you already have. You now you have that information. What's the next thing? The next thing is to start with street behavior, and I will go into details, right? So street behavior is basically you starting with a blank canvas, right? So like this blank space, like this now. So you get you just begin to write nonsense. Draw right nonsense. You know. Can you guys hear me? Network is doing. Network is doing. Can you guys hear me now? Knock knock. Who is there? Who is in the garden? A little fine. Can I come and see ya? No, 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 no. I beg my sister, follow me. Okay. So, awesome. You can hear me. So, um, this number one side is just rugged behavior, like madness. Allow yourself, run free. Check it get. So, what ideas come to mind? What keywords come to mind? Right arm. Uh, oh, stress. Right stress. Uh, kidney. Right kidney. Hey, skincare. Right skincare. Pure lights. Right pure lights. Sure you get all those things that came all those things that came to your mind when the client was talking oh i want it to be oh so fine so smooth smooth uh what's it again pure okay what do you think pure lights it's in the soap why is it in the crew do do men are no vex so please just one person confirm you can hear me only one person only one i don't know what's up with my network let me check my app whether data don't finish okay you can hear us now i can hear me now awesome awesome my network they do like radio no radio if you bring phone next to it it does do free do like radio sorry no vex mtn mtn is not that's doing this thing to me mtn is in collaboration with my village people this is what they do so um so whatever ideas come to you just rug it down, write it down. Oh, uh, 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 killer, uh, killer. Uh, perfume, perfume. Uh, smooth, smooth. Clear, clear. Right? Um, um, ocean vibe, ocean. 
What does ocean mean? Ocean is you can relate it to blue. I don't know. Just whatever idea comes to mind, just rub it and write anything rubbish. Any drawing that comes to mind, ah, you go, you go good if water run it her hand. Okay, oh, press in hand. Water run it the hand like this. Uh -huh. So you get. So just write, sketch, whatever comes to mind, write it down. Then the next part is called mind mapping. Somebody has mentioned this thing to me before. Let me do strong head. Somebody mentioned. <laughs> Somebody mentioned it to me on the um, LinkedIn that this this thing I called one thing one thing you can or uh, between one part of the design process and the other you can do mind mapping and I was like whoa what I'm doing works for me and it did it did it does work right but that does not mean that we cannot explore other um, ideas so whoever you are I forgot forgotten your name I'm so sorry but whoever you are thank you very much for introducing this concept into my cranium all right so creating the mind map where the central idea is the design goal and it branches out into related themes concepts and images and all of that this i, I got an example from abiconic so abiconic was designing um skyrocket uh it is a a kid shoe brand shoes for children all right and this is her mind map so you have skyrocket which is the name of the brand so for you it can be the name of the brand it can be the goal of the campaign so we can say oh now sales anyway sales is our main goal then how do you want to go about it where you know uh, uh um, what are the keywords team what's the team of the campaign you know all those many what's in the sub who's the do my point here i don't see my screen again Ah, problems. This life is beautiful. Alright, give me a moment. I'm sharing it again. Okay. So confirm play, you can see it. If I cannot see it, you just off the class. To be sorry, I don't know how I want to go about it no more. Can you see it now? awesome awesome so this is what i was talking about this is um, a screenshot from abiconics video awesome okay so this is a screenshot from abiconics video all right so she was designing kids uh, uh, shoes for children right and then she this is her mind map so what are the keywords that they want to see they want to see support um they want it to be playful imagination style uh, um reflect imagination stylish uh, be comfortable uh av adventurous and this is like the the what do they call them the product right product feeling um all those adjectives sha. so now under support right so what are the things that could not support uh the bridge of the sh of the shoe quality of it maybe children hands can show you support building blocks okay so building blocks looks like a very great idea okay so now kids playing with building blocks or characters like illustrations of uh uh maybe any like a blob playing with building blocks or maybe uh let's say a block a blob that looks like building blocks so for instance now um you can have a blob that looks like this right and then you have one that looks like let's say this so you can put eye a mouth and hand or something i don't know so you get it, but it depends on what you want to do right and uh, let's say this one goes in like this you now have another blob that looks like this so everything becomes so you get So all of these things if you separate them they are individual children characters but when you stack them together they are building blocks right that shows support so you get and then you know like i said i'll give you this thing so that you can study it properly so adventure what does ad adventure looks like what does it feel like what can be related to it comfort that one said the same thing uh shoes she gets imagination dream clouds then you, from there you can now gather ideas together then 
under brainstorming ideas lastly we have mood boarding this is my this is the best part and i'm going to show you something today uh, i'm going to show you the uh, moonshot mood board so this is the mood board right this is the uh, mood boarding part right so this is where you after you've done your mind map now you have something that you can insert into into pinterest right now you have something you can insert into pinterest and search for ideas right so if you say oh comfort okay so when you type in comfort what does comfort look like right so oh i love this jesus this is this has to find jesus sorry oh <laughs> that's a bamboo do you guys see what i saw i'm sorry sorry for breaking the class like that but they now let me send you this thing if you like now they feel and the way they feel i'm sorry oh. i know that is not part of the thing but oh no i can't i can't i can't let it pass me by i can't let it pass me by no vex people should enjoy it um okay so mood <laughs> mood boarding um ideas images textures color font if you're starting afresh when it comes to font if the brand doesn't already have a font you know you can gather fonts that you need um, um a, a color palette um illustrations um, um elements brand elements you know like uh, maybe backgrounds that you find interesting that is going to work adam the shapes that you find interesting adam check you get so let me show you the moonshot mood board is the most random thing i want to save this thing i'm not going to close that this thing that tab moonshot mood board is the most random thing you will ever see you think when you open it you see um, your portal is in full everywhere see him now illustration see him Ar architecture when I, I mentioned architecture in my video as one of the inspiration it is see him buildings how how things so this thing to me now eh this mood board to me i don't need all this english here you know what i need just the way this thing sits pam 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 one box Pam, 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 another box. Pam, 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 another box. They feel them? Yeah. So, see them, see them. Now, be this. Okay, get look at. So, you can, you can see a lot of them is perspective. Look at this is. Have you seen the countdown flyers? Have you guys seen the moonshots countdown flyers? I don't know motions for this place. Let me block everybody. Can you guys still hear me? Somebody ask if the call is still on. Ah, uncle, I don't know. I'm not waiting the sub. Okay. So if you have seen the motion flyers, you will you be able to like relate this to something else. This is I saw this and I was like, this thing goes sweet. And then I use it to create a design. Let me, you know what? Let me just show you the design I created. Don't tell anybody, oh, don't tell my God. In fact, let me send it to you guys. Anybody, whenever I see that flyer, eh? You are my up. You are my opticas. Um, let me look for the one way. You don't take. Okay, okay. So I think. Um, I think this one don't take. So you can see the difference similarities where is 15 i don't know 15 days oh no 14 days before take starts oh okay i'm cuckoo record you know i mentioned when i started that i don't use um telegram um kini so I'm going to send the both of them to you so that you can see the correlation between the, the two. They feel them. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what what it is. If you see something that if you ah this thing it adds to the design style. Remember that we have already decided what design style we want to go for uh, from the beginning. So you feel like oh this thing is going to go well with the design style, right? Uh -huh. so you can now add that to add that to uh what you're creating all right so this is 
I did not add mode board here. Oh, I went to gun. I put okay. I stacked it wrongly. So this is an example for someone that does branding. Um, uh, the color, the um, illustrations, the mockups, the type of logo, right? Um, design of the flyer, stacked boxes. You know whatever fits into the idea of what you want to create in the film so yeah then next thing under ideation right for me after brainstorming is design rationale right just this is just a check this is just a make sure it, it makes sense type of thing so design rationale is just basically you basically looking at what you have in your mood board and making sure that whatever it is that you have selected it aligns with the business goal it aligns with the campaign goal with the uh, uh, with the uh, um, um, marketing goal, sales goal, awareness goal, whatever the goal is, make sure say it align together, together in unity in Jesus' name. All right. So mood board. Then you can sketch. It a film. Sketching is not. How am I saying it a film a lot? God, please. So sketching is not. <coughs> sketching is not compulsory, but it is helpful. All right. So. Let's say this is the flyer I want to design. You already know that, okay, go, logo is going to go here. Uh, oh, no, that logo is too big. <coughs> let's say the logo is going to go here. Uh, let's say the headline is going to go here. Uh, sub copy, right? Um, let's say we have bullet points. Right? You can put that bullet point in a box and then stretch out you know another side and put um i don't know why don't put uh, okay let's say time time here put a demarcator and put date right let's assume it's an event and let's see what else uh let's put um let's say bob like we have for this our class this is the bob let's say this is the bob that we're using and the bob is 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 germinating from grand right um uh, if it's a download this app type of thing uh, you can now put the download button here in the film uh -huh. and then put like social media icons and the uh, handle here so let's say this is what you're working with okay so this is one right we can try the same thing a different layout yes right let's say we put uh the logo in the middle right and we put the bulb right here it, it grow leg enter inside sand so the sand is here like this yeah you put um headline here put sub copy put um um time uh and dates what else do we put again what if someone put for you time and dates uh -huh. um let's let's see um the uh what's the column bullet points uh -huh. put bullet points instead of stacking it to put it um straight right or or yeah we can put headline here put sub copy here so i can move this one up put the bullet points here um and then put a strip on this place and then you have a download button um social media and name and then the social media handle all right so we can try another idea we can try another idea let's say you tear this thing into two right you put the bulb here and a shining light so whatever and there's leaf at the back so instead of you to put it in the ground to suggest growth or vegetation or whatever you put a leaf you know to celebrate that idea then put the logo here uh put the um the headline in a triangular manner right sub headline um put a big box here uh let's have um download button yeah social media 
icons and whatever right and then we have a smaller box here where we, what else are we putting self i don't confuse myself okay so headline sub copy right um we can put the sub copy stack it this way put a line across it and put the bullet points like this so now 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 we don't use sketch eh create three different layouts that we can use or light or light we have used it you know to create different ideas all these things that we have you know gotten from our research and conversation and all these many many things we have used it to create like quick sketch of the layouts that we want to use okay so you can adjust it anyhow do as many sketch see this part is important eh at this stage eh, no thing calm no two thing calm don't get too serious right we are just we are just doing rough something rough don't wor worry about perfection or anything like that we're just trying out different different things quantity of this layout is more important than the quality right now all right so once you have done like different different ones you cannot look at mm, which one communicates the idea the best this is where you have selection and refinement which is the last thing we are going to discuss so if you have your question start typing it now okay we have like two minutes to eight o'clock so this is where we have selection and refinement so now that you have done like uh, 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 five uh, to seven sketches right now you cannot look at oh which one passes the message across well right you can begin to imagine it in your head if it comes out in real life so which one sweet pass which one is the layout banging the most it is sure you get I, i've seen a lot of um, um design agencies do this thing where you they can have like let's say they are designing a logo they will have like 100 different sketches on paper then they will now look through it and then match the best one <clears throat> to the the goal of the brand or the goal of the business the film so select the ideas the one you want review the sketches and remove the ones that doesn't really make any sense and look for the ones that align with what the project goal or the client's vision is then lastly beta meaning enter your software photoshop illustrator uh, figma uh, cinema 4d anything and begin to design and create this beautiful magic that you have worked on all right so thank you guys very much i hope you are able to learn 18 or 20 in this class if you have any questions please do not hesitate to type it in the comments of the section and we can address it together hey okay, so i'm gonna take your questions now uh ayomide says how do you deal with clients that want to stick with a certain design style that you know won't do well with their projects so i'm going to give you an example um of what has happened with me before so i was working with this i think i've mentioned them earlier in this call these amazing people that are building really cool uh, a very cool app uh for i forgotten what it was honestly i forgotten a lot of things but they um wanted me to refine the brand identity and also create certain things choose the typography and all of that so i did a lot of them a lot of them a lot of the work that i did there was a lot uh, input from stakeholders that oh this is what they want this is what they want this is what they want and all of that so largely right it was a back and forth a lot of back and forth that me and these people had um, I think one of the things that really helped is that I was able to show them why it doesn't work. So beyond just saying, ah, this is not going to work, you know, fine. I was able to show them why, not tell them. I was able to show them why. All right. So uh, for the colors, they wanted some certain type of colors. So you know what I, what I did? I ran a contrast and compatibility test for the colors, right? Or by myself like within my software i ran it and then uh I, I sent it to them for them to see the contrast level of those colors that they were choosing so i i did that one i also did another one that i was going to suggest to them so i did their own in one side and i did my own in the other side and i sent the both of them to them guess which one they put they chose my own right 
and that's because you know there was reason behind you know why i did certain things and how i put it together right so um that was the first uh fight that we had not fight possible more like disagreement on certain uh, elements so afterwards we went again went again went again they started sending me some uh social media pages so they were sending me stuff like uh, some fintech share microfinance banks their social media pages that oh we like this design we like that design maybe we can do it like them maybe we can maybe we can i was trying nodding my head like a gamma lizard right until it got to a point where i slowly began to transition the design into what i knew was going to work that that's me being an asshole right now right so of course you're supposed to communicate to them but me i knew that them looking like everybody else was going to be detrimental because you are a startup you are new you don't have financial backing you don't have a lot of things that boost people in the market you don't have that you don't have a large uh, marketing budget you don't have a large spend when it comes to creating awareness even if you want to do giveaway and want to give 5k you go first count and well to make sure that the money did not come to each other before you do giveaway so if you if you have a low budget like that the best thing that you can do is to make sure that all your brand element is singing is inviting is captivating is clean is nice it talks directly to your audience and addresses their pain points share if you so when they were doing all of that i was like okay multiple 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 because i was having conversation with them that let's do it a certain way but they were not hearing me so i was like okay so i started transitioning the design slowly slowly into new brutalism until the team entered the team fully i started creating they were like oh yeah nice oh yeah nice oh yeah nice oh yeah nice until people started coming to them by themselves and saying ah i saw your design oh wow that's uh, really really i saw your so people like friends of the stakeholders were now reaching out to them like i saw you people design on your instagram story i i felt like it was really nice i took a screenshot i shake any con i shake back i shall go share you guys so that's how i was able to now uh, kind of convince them through mago mago <laughs> that this was the best route to take but me i don't advise you to do mago mago like me it's not everybody that can take it though share you get um so yeah yeah but on the extreme end if a client insists that they want something done a certain way and you have educated them you need to choose between your peace and your money do you want the money or do you want your peace so you get if you want your peace you can just divorce the client and say dear client is not you is me i feel like we are not going to clinic on, on this project and i would like to amicably disintegrate disconnect from you all right i will not go to you this is me being a good boy that kind of thing or you can say ah this money is sweet you and sapa shook me in my neck so you now say oh let me stay for the money and do whatever the client wants collect my money dust my pali at the end of the month and go all right so you have options i will like give you no no okay so what else how can one resolve the situation when you start designing with a layout in mind but then it is it is layout in <laughs> Yeah, I get, I get that. I get that. Um, because a lot of the time, when I, even when I finish sketching, right, you finish doing this sketch, right, and you start putting it together, your, your, in as, you know that spirit that used to tell you when you are putting salt in stew, that used to tell you is okay, my child. That ancestral spirit, uh -huh, that ancestral spirit, design spirit can now come and say, ah, this. Uh, uh, layout go go boss you it's not working you shake get and you too you now look at it that maybe truly truly it's not working so the question is do you want to go back to your mood board and look for ideas or do you want to go back into the wild like pinterest and other places and search for what you think might work and but that aligns with you know the general goal brand identity visual identity strategies of the campaign and all of that do you is it is that what you want to do so you, get, so you need to make that decision right at, at that point another thing that you can try is try rearranging the thing that you have on that layout right try rearranging it that's why i always like us to have a full idea of everything that goes into the flyer so for instance you already know that the logo is going to be there the client already told you that this is the headline so they're giving you all the content piece 
this is the logo this is the headline this is the sub copy this is the bullet points this is the date and time this is the uh, social media and this is the download button so you have all this information and you, and you already know that you probably use an image or an illustration or a plain background or whatever to buttress the point of the of the um of the design take it so it's now left to you to look for how you can rearrange this uh um layout in a way that you feel is going to be you know more productive so instead of doing this one like this do you want to try a different thing let's say instead of putting box on top of box right do you want to try something like this you put a box right then you have uh one box come out like this and then you have the other box right so this one will be a dark color just like that new brutalism thing i did then you can put date and time put demarcation behind it and then put your bullet points so you get so you cannot put a uh, sub copy in this area not like that maybe put put sub copy like this right um and any other information let's say that let's say they are speakers right and you want to put speakers like this then put headline Share if you so or put uh, imagery and then put put headline here and then put logo here right maybe run a strip at the bottom or leave it beer so you get you can take this idea this one that you have already done and refine it into something else so you get so it depends on what route you want to take i always have problems with color combination what I, can i do to help you can go on my youtube channel i already talked about color recently so um hey look at my my something oh i'm looking at okay you know what let me just keep quiet <laughs> so look at using color in you can see that 1.4 thousand people have already viewed it go and be the 1.5 is it one point, i don't know but shall i add your number to this place right because this is the video that you want to watch if you want to understand color and how to approach use of color in design so are they remy daniel this is this is the video you want to watch in fact let me even give you um let me drop the link so that's what you can you can watch uh, Mary Folarin says, do you have any books you can recommend on this topic for further studies and research? I don't have any books, but I think, I think I have, I'll look for, I think I have, um, an article I saw recently. Hold on. I think this one. Yeah. Well, this one's for brand identity. So, I don't know, you might find something interesting in there that would, um, that would add to the point you are trying to make but i saw this about design process you can also search on medium you know for some other stuff check a uh, creative boom as well they have really cool articles creative boom is it creative boom dot com is it let me check it first if i send to you the creative boom oh it is so they have like really cool um articles on design the business of design art illustration and all of that so you'll find some really cool stuff in there as well so it might be useful to check them out and see if they have any article around you can search right search for any article around design process they feel them why am i saying you they feel you know what people should leave me alone okay so <laughs> i see if anybody hold my shirt any other questions i think we can take one more if there are any any questions knock me your question like two by two i really like creative boom though they have like really cool stuff for it for check out their web their articles 
honestly this kind of thing i wish we in nigeria we did something similar and anything i see that's fine outside i usually wish that we in nigeria are doing something like that but if you know anybody that does any brand that does please chill let's support our own people you're welcome you're welcome any other question once it's 8 15 we'll close the door we'll call them on. the best new typeface for october from leading foundries and designers you see why i like them just have like really cool stuff that is useful to me as a designer robots robots food identity for beauty brand postcard invites us to slow down really let me see um nothing replicates the rustic magical energy of stop motion this is stop motion oh my god okay um hola is please is there a website to download the brush tool you use for photo manipulation which brush tool which brush tool the one i use for photo manipulation um if you check my if you go to my instagram i recently shared um a brush pack i recently so if you go to my um my instagram bio click on the link you see my link tree and you see free brief friday with cav google drive all right so just click on it it will take you to the google drive where i have um i think i've uploaded like three three different things up there 8 15 bang 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 sure i shall go there you shall find it if your network is better than my own let me do i'll come and read this article i know that it's very sweet and i have designs to do this next but i can't show i will actually you guys to come and work with me as i design as well it's designed for moonshots that is not out yet but if it's a personal one i would i would have invited you to come and work with me all right so how do you know when your design like flyer design works i mean when it yields results when it yields results when it has gone to the market right uh -huh. so when it yields, yields results is when it has gone to the market and it has come back pulling those numbers it is supposed to pull nobody can tell me that the design for moonshots does not contribute to the reason why a lot of people are talking about it right so one of the successes of the moonshot um, um, brand and the moonshot event last year was that the design was so amazing was so good that people were talking about it people were taking pictures it inspires people to take pictures around it and people posted it on social media and tagged us other brands saw it and they were like okay it'd be like next year we'll give people money or it'd be like a lot of people came for this event or it'd be like it'd be like it'd be like sure you get and one thing i usually i like to add when i talk about marketing and strategy is that when you design flyers that are supposed to sell markets don't just design one this just like we did with this with this guy right so we have looked at the audience and we've segmented the audience into two places right we have said that oh people that are likely to buy this product are this and this from this and this there's my audience something eh, eh, eh. my audience can you don't go okay so we have said that the people that are most likely to buy are maybe um women within the ages of 25 to kinikon looking for youth and men within the this and that looking to um spend on their women sure you get so now that you have those two audience segments don't assume that the same design you do for the women is going to work for the men sure you get so you can create two types of design for this audience segment that's why if you check banks yeah you know banks are servicing different segments of people like for instance fcmb that me i know of they have kids accounts they have flex uh, flex accounts they have um the ones that are for like regular savings accounts then they have the ones that are for elderly people they have the ones for muslims sure you get they have the ones for people that are outside the country so they have those different different audience segments 
now when they want to design for a campaign right they don't just design and put it like a generic one and say okay everybody manage them so you get they usually segment it and design for each uh, uh audience segment so that they feel seen and then they're able to relate to the message enough to take action so how do you know that your flyer design works is when it goes to the market and it brings back the results But when, if you are talking about the actual design itself, if it looks good, right? If you're talking about the actual design itself, you can uh, place it side by side. If you place it side by side with industry standard designs and it doesn't look better than it, that means you still have a lot of work to do, right? Remember that one of those things that we are trying to do is to look similar to what is in the field, but also stand out. So you get, so yeah, I hope that helps. Um, Noah says, how does one break through creative block? Should this be our next class? Should we talk about creative block? Should we create a, a class for it? Okay. All right, so maybe we can talk about imposter syndrome and creative block in our next class. That will have to be next, um, let me, what's the date? Ah, that will be like end of the week, next week. Let's say like on Saturday or something, right? That Because Moonshot is next week. And I've already done this class this week. I'm trying to see how I can maintain, you know, having one class per week. So I will try, try in work well, try, uh -huh. so try and keep up with having one class a week to address certain issues. So the next one is creative block and imposter syndrome, how to deal with it and put it to rest finally, like, or how, uh, uh, at least giving you the tools to be able to manage it. So we'll either do it next week or next two weeks, because another thing I'm trying to do is bring, I'm hoping I'm able to bring in a therapist for the imposter syndrome part because imposter syndrome is an emotion or an emotional reaction to external stimuli right something that you saw externally makes you feel inadequate so you internalized it and it became a problem so you get so it's not me that will now come and diagnose you and say oh plus it's just minus satan you are healed in jesus name it's not me that will come and do you that one right so it's a ther therapist that will be able to walk through it with you and also give you tools to manage your emotion or regulate your emotion in a way that whenever you see a trigger next time it doesn't affect you or you you apply certain uh tools rules uh um, um instructions and it it works you feel them you they feel oh no you they feel like i need to stop saying that <laughs> so uh i think we spent more time than than we anticipated also ma maybe in the future how you can create how you create a project on behance to attract foreign clients ah she she me i've i've attract foreign clients me see this uncle you first ask me pay auntie ada no not auntie ada please don't comment ada ah please i'm begging you don't call me that <laughs> no <laughs> so you can say excuse me oh uh, excuse me this young lady fine gear beauty uh uh oh ego bean you can also say fine names uh -huh. so you can ask me but you yeah, have a uh, foreign client no if i not tell you yes you not ask me how did i get it okay, okay to be honest i have you know the yet your that's why your name is john because now so they cut your head for bible you know the year word as we jump for Bible, they hear word now. Therefore, no cutting head. You know they hear word. So, um, yeah. I I do have foreign clients, but I didn't get them from Behance. So, but I've had a lot of people reach out to me from Behance for jobs, opportunities, and all of that. So, it's still a, a useful platform. Well, yeah. We'll, we'll put it inside the pipeline, and hopefully, we're able to get to it. Fine, gear. Yeah. That's a fee. If he's a good good person, I don't know who's this John Paul that put cat in his name. He's he say your yeah, jammy will not be happy if he stops. 
Let's end this class here. If I disturb you, if I, if I, you are raising my blood pressure, you might be going. All right. So, um, if you have any other questions, just drop it in the group. Hey, what do you want to call be going? Oh, yeah. Hold up. Out. Bye. Go away. So, I hope you guys had fun with the class. I hope you learned a lot. I hope your book is full. And I hope that when you implement all of these things, you are going to see amazing results. Okay? All right. Take care. If there are any other things that you want to learn, please let me know. Uh, and I will do my best to either teach you myself if I know it or invite somebody else that does. Or I can send you on that errand. Now you go bring the person come no concern me so drag their shirts hold their shirts but you see you either come or you come one of them have to happen all right see every design hub is calling you and then they have to come then i'll design the flyer and all of us will be happy okay all right guys take care and have a good night bye